on the ballot, asking voters for support after a year that so many districts saw their ballots, their budgets rather, slashed or eaten up by the coronavirus fallout in response. Tanisha Cordell tracking the unofficial results about these for us. Tanisha, who is celebrating this morning yes. and who has some tough decisions <laughs> now to make? You know, you said it right, Katie. Lots of victories this morning, but also some upsetting losses. Kicking us off in Portage County, several districts there had some new levy ballots on, um, or <laughs> new levies on the ballot, and also some up for renewal. Results, though, showing five of those levies failed, two passed, and two right now sitting in a deadlock tie. Voters handily passed Cleveland schools levy 61% for and 38% against the new taxes on this levy it means someone with a $100,000 home will pay an extra $175 in taxes every year. In Parma, the controversial bond issue 73 was defeated. 54% of folks there voted no and 45% voted yes. The district was desperate for this approval in order to consolidate and build new schools. The last school that was built there was Normandy in 1968. Another controversial one, Cleveland Heights, levy 69. This one barely passing 50% yes and 49% no. Taking a closer look at those those numbers, 14,598 voters supported the levy with 14,533 against it. And Fairview Park School celebrating a victory. The district thanked voters on Facebook for passing issue 72, dodging some budget cuts. They had 64% yes votes and 35% no. And finally, over in Huron County, another victory for Monroeville local schools. The district's levy approved for the 12th time since 1972. Now, I know all of that was a lot to take in, but one thing to keep in mind, Ohio schools have definitely had their fair share of budget cuts from the state because of this pandemic. Many school leaders still concerned looking forward to next school year. I'm Tanisha Cordell, News 5. All right, Tanisha, thanks for breaking that down for us. Now,